For those of you that don't know, this last December, the tricolored blackbird was listed by the state as an endangered species. This is a sensitive issue among dairy producers especially because these birds tend to congregate and nest in forage crop fields around the time of harvest and the law would prohibit them from harvesting during the nesting period. I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network and today in Chowchilla dairy producers gathered with state and county officials to discuss how to address this problem. And here Jesse Baim with the USDA and RCS explained their efforts to meet the needs of both the dairyman and the tricolored bird species. RCPP that we have uh, with Audubon Farm Bureau, uh, Western United Dairy Cares, um, where we have one, in our USDA and RCS has uh, funded $1.1 million for this grant, um, which will go to silage, deferment, and you know, enhancing habitat, because all of us understand that you know, paying for silage really isn't, that's not the end game, that's just a short term, uh, short term control until we can kind of develop habitat elsewhere. So with the RCPP, uh, we have a funding for a resource conservation partnership program, which is $1.1 million. It's for a, a partnership with Audubon, Farm Bureau, Western United Dairymen, and Dairy Cares. Um, this program will help us uh, with our silage harvest delay uh, for tricolored blackbird, uh, and also enhance habitat for tricolored blackbirds. Uh, we're looking to try and, uh, in the short term, like delay silage harvest so that we can enhance tricolor blackbird colonies uh, trying to recover this species uh, from its uh, dramatic decline but then in the long term we're trying to enhance habitat outside of uh, these silage colonies because we know that's not uh, it's not economical to maintain these colonies in uh, silage fields. Um, uh, NRCS will be doing this through the Environmental Quality Incentives Program uh, this year NRCS will be funding this program. The RCPP will uh, engage in April 1st, um, which will last for five years. Uh, so through the Environmental Quality Incentives Program, we're offering a, a $600 payment per acre, or $600 per acre uh, payment uh, for silage deferment, which allows the dairyman to, uh, to offset the cost for delaying harvest uh, during the growing season, like to allow the birds to uh, finish nesting on the fields. Uh, we have Habitat Enhancement, which is a 75% cost assistance program, which can help develop habitat outside of the dairy, like off uh, silage field areas, you know, if you have uh, unused portions of, your, of the farm, uh, we can develop habitat there to try to draw the birds to that habitat away from the silage fields. Uh, we're also working with you know, our easement programs, developing easements, uh, and then uh, California Department of Fish and Wildlife also has some additional funds which will help with habitat enhancement and uh, may increase the, the price that we can pay for the silage deferment. California dairy producers are environmental leaders in the state, and by working together with county and state officials, they can lead the way to sustainable solutions to problems like these. Learn more about this in the coming issue of California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.